Hello all. Today we will discuss about what can be what are the alternatives present for the UWB provided by the maker strap. So generally maker straps provides the UWB chip which comes a DW1000 series and DW3000 series. Both are very good. I have used it and it works very fine. But the, the cost of the UWB provided by the maker strap is $43 around the $44. So there's one more alternative present for the UWB. So that's provided by the Corvo. The links for the details will be I'll be providing in the description. So Corvo UWB 3000 series chips comes under $29.5. So almost around $30. And this we can use directly with a UNO board or we can use with the ESP and if you want to use some the web application or Bluetooth applications where you want to use the UWB data so you can use with a ESP32 also or 8266 also it depends upon your convenient so so these uh, the Carvo provides very good documentations and they provides the a uh, software APIs and a quick start guide also so let's see how we can connect this Corvo DWB 3000 chip with a ESP32. On the core, you know, it will be directly fits on the board. But for the ESP32, you want to do some signals jumping from the UDA ESP32 board to the Corvo board. So basically, we'll be using the CON1 and CON2 of the DWB chip to the ESP32 esp32 board so i'll be showing here the pinout so the pinout of the usb uh, 32 is well known so this is a pinout you can get uh, in the online and the corvo pins uh corvo board uwb pinout i'll be giving in the link it's present in the corvo site so connection wise i'll show you how to connect so this is a Corvo UWB DW3000 series port. The links is provided. This is a ESP32 having a two connectors J1 and connector and J2 connectors. And this is the pin connections. So first we need to power up the connect 3.3. So the 3.3 we need we can use the comes from the ESP32 that J2 pin number one. This is J2 pin number one is connect connected to the con to pin number four. J2 pin number 2 ground is connected to the condo pin number 6 then we need to give the SPI connections the SPI clock the J2 pin number 9 is GPO 18 is connected to the con, con 1 pin number 6 then MISO line SPI master in layout J2 pin number 6 connected to the con 1 pin number 5 this is the con 1 SPI MOSI master of slave in J2 pin number 15 that is GPI 23 connected to the CON1 pin number 4 and SPI clock J2 pin number 8 means GPI GPI pin number 5 is connected to the CON1 pin number 3 we can also call the slave select or chip select then we need two other important pins that is IRQ and reset pins so during uh, we need to reset the UWB I see multiple times so uh, in doing the program and this IRQ pin so IRQ pin JPI 4 is connected to CON1 pin number 1 and uh, <coughs> reset pin J2 pin number 3 GPI 15 connected to CON4 pin number 1 so this is a CON4 and these three pins are the important so if you are using the ESP32 or if you are using the CON, uh, you know you need to update the software as per these three pins only so here the snippet of the code so reset pin irq pin and chip select pin has to be updated in your code so let's open the code directly so if you are installed the uh you know and uh, dw3000 dara uh, libraries have been installed it will be explained in my previous li uh, video so then you can directly go to the file example and if you install the dw3000 library successfully you will be seeing here then you go there and you can open that first program that you're reading the device id okay so these pins having a default value of the maker fab uh, pins controller is connected to the uwb ic these three pins we need to change so i'll just open the video 
just to show the my actual connection. This is a Corvo DWP 3000 series board, development board, connected to the ESP32. So you might have seen all the connections are comes from the J2 connector only. This is a J2 side of ESP32 and this is a J1 side. So you can use, you can follow the pin diagram as I described above previously or this video is only for the reference. So we'll just put this one aside and we will. So you need to go to the tools, in board manager, how to select, do it ESP32 dev kit. Once you can connect and use just proper COM port from the device manager in for just for checking once it's done you can directly try to load this existing program let's see what happens once code has been loaded we can open the serial monitor and reset and you may have seen that the device id is failed and there's no green led is blinking it's not doing any communication so the controller the esp32 is not doing any communication with the uwb chip so nothing is glowing here and you can see here the device id is failed so let's do the changes as per the slide we have it So reset pin, we'll make it pin number 15. IRQ will make pin number four. And chip select or slave select will make pin number five. So you can save it or you can directly. Let's load it again. So I'll reset it again. Yeah. Device ID is okay. So one more time. Device ID works fine. So if you load the uh, the programs which I showed in my previous video, so you can see there's a green and red LEDs will be blinking when the transmission of the reception is taking place with the UWB chip. Okay. So this is a video demonstrate how to use the UWB, Corvo UWB IC with the SP32 or UNO code. Thank you.